we okay. developed the first AIDS adult medical daycare. And that was the first around the country. I said, why can't we do this for seniors? <laughs> my, broke my piggy bank and my son's <laughs> two sons piggy bank. Right. Like other entrepreneurs, they start out with a nickel, right? Yep. And I yeah. pulled every piece of furniture <laughs> for right. my first daycare. Yeah. Hi everybody, thank you for joining me. My name is Chris Chan, I'm the founder and CEO of Chelsea Place Senior Care, and we are in Baltimore, Maryland today with a very special guest, um, and she is, her name is Joan Marie, and she owns three adult daycare centers in New Jersey. She is on the board for the National Adult Day Services Association, which we are at the conference for right now, and uh, she does a lot of other things. She's consulted with over 50 uh, adult daycare centers across the nation, and uh, just an impressive person, and I cannot wait for you guys to hear her story so well, thank you it's such an honor to be here <laughs> well, with a minute notice right <laughs> I, know, I know i know it's great i know I was, like, I was like hey joan you got a few minutes let's go <laughs> <laughs> and uh so she uh, was up for it and decided to uh to join along so joan I, I um you know you you the fact that you've started three adult daycare centers and i can tell you are extremely involved in adult daycare both nationally and in new jersey um, you know, what is it that got you started in this industry in the first place? Well, when I was 12 years old, my grandmother was in a nursing home. And being an Italian family, we had to be there every day. Right, right, right. So I started, uh, you know, doing activities with the seniors there. And she lived and died in the nursing home. And I always said, you know, there, there has to be a better way. Right. You know, seniors should not just be put in institutions. Yeah. So um, through my years of experience in healthcare, I found adult medical daycare as a niche that um, I wanted to make grow. And in now New Jersey, we did. Did you see um, one before, like, or did you work in one, or did you work, like, did you, you know, like, like, like what, what kind of introduced you to that model? Well, when I was working for the Village Center for Care in New York City, we okay. developed the first AIDS adult medical daycare. Ah. And that was the first around the country. Was and that for seniors or was that for It's for AIDS young treatment okay. center. Okay. Yeah, gotcha. for all ages, okay. with people with AIDS. Wow. And um, I said, why can't we do this for seniors? And right. then I started looking more, and there was little moms and pops around the country. And in New Jersey, I think we had maybe 30 at that time. And, and what, what, what year was this? Like, if you, I mean, 1990 and to 95, okay. around then. Gotcha. So is that was that when you were kind of first like like looking into that model or just like 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 becoming aware of the adult daycare model like yes okay yeah and, and then I mean because so that was 1995 but it wasn't really until 2008 that you started your own so right? in 1996 I had my first son Connor okay and being a mom I said oh. I don't want to work full time. Right. I have to figure out something. And right. I became an entrepreneur <laughs> by building my own company, Future Focus. Okay. And I started consulting and I started to build and operate adult daycares. And I just figured it out. I just wow. said, you know, how That's can awesome. I make this better? And I did. Yeah, yeah. And um, through the years, uh, I've, you know, just gained a lot of support through my reputation of doing good things for people yep. and building for them around the country. So, so, so you actually started helping other people open their own adult daycare centers uh, prior to you opening your three then? Or yes. Yeah. And one day I said, wow, I'm doing this for everyone. All right, right. I should do this for myself. So yeah, I broke, yeah. my, broke my piggy bank and my son's, <laughs> two sons' piggy bank. <laughs> right. And then yeah. um, one day they came into the living room and they said, mom. Where's all our furniture? <laughs> and I said, they said, this is great. We could play basketball. Right. <laughs> and, um, but, you know, yeah. like other entrepreneurs, they start out with a nickel, right? Yep. And I yeah. pulled every piece of furniture <laughs> for my right. first daycare. Yeah. And I dedicated it to my father, who's a Korean War veteran. So wow. I had all Korean community. Yeah. Um, I still do to this day. We opened in 2010. Wow. Um, when my father used to come, he's 91 now. And he used to come to the center. Um, they used to all stand up and bow to him. And wow. when you see a hundred yeah. Korean people bow to you, right. yeah, yeah. he would just cry. He was he felt like a celebrity. Yeah. He yeah. never was able to talk about the Korean War until then. Wow. So I brought that. We had his so just pictures. just to have other like people that you know can relate and can understand and you know. Well, they're like yeah. his age. He yeah, said yeah. I probably saved them. Wow. Like, and that's how he wow. thought. So yeah, yeah. it's an honor for me to dedicate that to him. And wow. So always to have a story is important. Sure. And uh, that's my first story. That, so 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 you were like, all right, I'm 
I'm helping everybody else out like in this world yeah. and you're like you know I'm, it's time for like me to figure this thing out like or to do one myself yes. you know <laughs> and and so and it's not easy no 100 percent because because like did you did you lease a space or did you purchase a building we did or? lease a space okay. and i watch adult daycare like people watch nasdaq yeah, yeah. And that's, um, that's, that's, that's so all three of my <laughs> centers were all yeah. built out okay so i saved on the build out and the years of building out which gotcha. is a long time oh you're saying that they were already like they'd already been built out for that purpose yes okay gotcha. so i just watch where the movers and players are right, to right. go over spaces gotcha um but then after i dedicated that one to my father my yeah. mother got very jealous right and she right, said right. i want i want one dedicated to, yeah. to me so we built town square ah, um okay. and that so is in elizabeth new jersey so then that was not one that you say took over that was a separate one that you it, kind of it built was out, i actually the company is an assisted living facility yeah. they have an adult daycare within the company structure okay in the back that was not being used and gotcha. they sought me out awesome. and they said can you build it that's and amazing that's amazing they said they will come <laughs> i said i heard that somewhere <laughs> <laughs> but that's they awesome. did so wh wh what do you think about that journey like was one of the hardest things like like, like when you were first opening up your first one yourself because i'm sure that took a little bit of a focus away from your ability to consult at the time maybe i don't know like like so like like was it was it was it difficult like you know like i've always helped others right. now like i gotta you know put all of those things i've been preaching into in my own practice you know well i i think i get five hours a day of yeah, sleep yeah. so yeah, yeah. i do a lot of work yeah. and i still took on three consulting positions okay. during the year as i grew mine Awesome. So that's amazing. Yeah. That's amazing. Because you learn each, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, on the no, journey. I, I told, and, and I feel like, because I know when we even first started, like I went and saw probably 15 different places. Right. And just, you know, sat and talked to each person and just understanding how they did their, and just, it was like bits and pieces from each of those that kind of helped us figure out our, you know, ours, you know. So right. uh, when you think about, um, like, you know, those first 18 months from the day that you opened, you know, to like 18 months later, mm -hmm. like, was there anything in particular that was hard about like opening day or did you already have like you know people like on opening day like, did you already have like t 10 15 20 people or was it like the doors were open and no one's here yet like we had 200 people on opening day. oh wow so <laughs> okay. i'm a really good marketer <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and yeah, uh, marketing yeah. has a negative connotation yeah but so it's community outreach making people aware and yeah. having a story having my father with me yeah. and the koreans just accepted us that's you know? amazing yeah, yeah. and we uh, we did we had 200 people and we couldn't take we only had 160 slots wow so we wow. had to keep people on a waiting list well that's that's incredible yeah, that's, uh, that's like the best story i've ever heard <laughs> <laughs> like uh, like on day one man 200 people marched through the doors yeah. like that is amazing it so is i uh, i wish more adult daycare centers could like experience that level of success you me know? too but well, i'm a, um i'm a national instructor for activity professionals yeah so my background is in therapeutic recreation therapeutic activities right um and that helped me develop the strategic planning for marketing because right. it's not only bringing the clients to the facility it's keeping them 100 percent, keeping them happy and it they don't just come there for blood pressure and blood sugar checks. right 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 and then, so now like just going back to that marketing thing is that you know um when you think about like what, what 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 was it that you did like or in your mind like what do you think you know made that success uh, for you to be able to have 200 people on day one like was there a type was there a type of marketing that you feel like has been like kind of like you know the area of focus that's been most productive or useful for you or i utilize activities in my marketing gotcha all okay. the time so is it, is it like mark is it marketing like through google or through pamphlets or through doctors or case managers like what, what do you feel none like of the that best? believe okay. it or not right. although that's on the list yeah, yeah, yeah but that's my plan b mine gotcha. is networking in person okay so i gather groups and events and i put on the greatest show yeah yeah, yeah, yeah and yeah. i show them me right because right, i'm the right. face of the company right and by them shaking hands with me bringing my father our story right you know you have to fall in love with the people it can't yeah. be i'm not a used car salesman right so i want them to hear from me sure. what i was going to provide for them yeah absolutely how, now how did you get that message out i went to um, each korean um, company 
yeah. events, um, usually housing units. Gotcha. Where we would have seniors come. Okay. You know, maybe 30 e each time. Gotcha. And um, we provide uh, Korean food. Right, right. And I'd have Korean dancers, and That's I awesome. would say Korean words, <laughs> and they would <laughs> love that. Um, so That's awesome. So, Kamsamida, the Korean community. That's uh, awesome. That's awesome. And even when I opened my other two centers, which are Spanish and African American. Yeah. Like, I still bow to them because yeah. I can't get it out of yeah, my, yeah. you know, I'm like, thank you. Because right, right. it's such a beautiful thing to do gotcha. to somebody. So, is, so is, that the, is that the Korean culture? Yeah, it's okay. a bow. And, you know, and there's and no handshakes or anything. Uh, but okay, it's gotcha. A, it's See, a bowing. It's funny, we, we, we were just talking about this too, like, like how a lot of times, you know, you, you, you create a community. Mm -hmm. And inside this community, you know, you're, you're attracting people that have similar interests, you know. And it's like, because that culture... It creates a, a bond, you know. Right. It's like, you know, it's like, you know, and, and, the, and you know that, like, you know, th whether it's the food, whether mm -hmm. it's the activities, you know, any of those things, it's like there's a certain level of like bond, and you and, you, and then you can kind of craft that environment to make it feel like home for them. You, you know? hit it right on the head because in these cultures, the seniors, right, their com their environment's very important. Right. The furnishings. So when I develop each center. Yeah. I look at whether they're going to be Indian, Chinese, Korean, sure. Spanish, and I do the decor right. that makes them feel at home. Right, right, right. Then yeah. you bring the food, you bring the activities, right. and your staff who knows the language. Right, 100%. Now, would you say that's been, like, because I've always wondered, like, as, as you think about expanding, or, like, even when you've consulted with people all over the nation, like, is it hard to identify that audience? Like, what 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 is it that makes you decide, okay, like, you know, I need to target this particular, like, you know, group of people for, like, you know, for instance, when I think about, like, the food side of it or the music or the activities, I feel like it's almost like you have to identify as something in your center that's special to attract, you know, certain types of people uh, to, that s to that center that I would do. enjoy that, would, would, would enjoy that environment you're creating. A lot of times it comes from the owner or the yeah. provider, and they right. say, listen, I speak Russian or I speak Indian, right. um, and I would like to work on this culture. Yeah. Um, and then sometimes it evolves. Right. We have to look at the demographics in your community. I, I go around myself with my yeah. husband. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> he drives, and we look at restaurants. We look at shopping. We look at banks like it right what's in the community gotcha and gotcha. who are they serving and right. we talk to people right 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 and, and that's and the best part of how you market inside right I, I remember the last adult daycare conference i went to uh, we went to a like a, a kind of a primarily russian like yeah. community and, and it was so cool like seeing the music they brought in and seeing everyone dance and the food they ate that day and i just i was like it was just a totally different experience you know, just because I had never been around that culture before, oh. but it was amazing. Like it was I just like I love the Russian was, culture. Yeah, um, they're and each culture is so different. Right, where their activities, you know, how to be so different. It's more right. lecture based, education, music. Right. You right. know, we're Spanish people. They want to have a party every yeah, day. Exactly. Yeah, so yeah. I love that. African American <laughs> people party every day. Yeah, yeah. Gospel music, prayer. Yeah, yeah. There's certain cultures. See, and, and I think so you have to be a chameleon yeah, to be yeah, yeah, able yeah. to yeah. service each. Uh, th 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 and that's definitely something I think you have to take into consideration when you're expanding. If you want to have more of a national footprint, you got to realize that like your programming might might change based on the environment that you're going into. You know. Right. Yeah. So. And like about when we went remote, which is tw March 2020. Um, I'll never forget March 2020. Yeah, that was a <laughs> tough time. <laughs> I'll never but in three days, yeah. you know, I reached out to the Department of Health and the MCOs, yeah. and I said, listen, we cannot shut our doors. Right. We right. will not get our business back. So we, I applied to a proposal for the telehealth. Gotcha. They accepted it. In three days, we were up and running telehealth. Wow. So during that year, um, you know, I've been in leadership positions, so I just – decided to develop my own coalition right. and have one voice in New Jersey that would represent all the adult medical daycare centers. I and, love it. you know, yeah. it's, we've been, you know, I was at the governor's office two weeks ago yeah. in his home with his wife with 50 providers right. and saying, listen, we need this. And, yeah. and last year you would ask me what our motto was right. and it would be adult medical daycare, the best kept secret. I love it. And yeah. this year, yeah. The secret's out. Everybody <laughs> knows about adult daycare in New I Jersey. I love it. I love it. Yeah. That's because they got Joan advocating for them, <laughs> you know. So, but I have a lot of good people yeah. behind me. I developed yeah. 
a board yeah. that's so smart and professional. Right. We hired lobbyists that are just so 45 years infil infiltrated into the legislative community. Absolutely, um, it's amazing. And just people with passion. Yeah, yeah that's so amazing. I, I, I love like how passionate you are about it, but I also love that, like just how much of an entrepreneur at heart you are, you know? So it's, uh, it's, it's cool because, like, I mean, between, you know, the three actual adult daycare centers that you own and the consulting services and then the coalition. And then someone told me, I think you guys have boutiques on the side. We <laughs> have antique, <laughs> antique <antiques. laughs> shops. So um, we have five of them. Yeah, and see, um, like, of course, there's another side <laughs> And hustle, I just you know? became the yeah. New Jersey Activity um, Professional Association president. I love it. So yeah. I never forget where you come from. And that's what people... You know, it's a community give back. Right. So, you know, these boards I sit on are voluntarily. Actually, I put money into it. Right, right. So, but that's giving back to my community. And right. at the end, I meet people like you and you and, right, you know, right. great people that um, build onto yeah. the resources of the industry. Yeah, well, I, I, I can't thank you enough for kind of sharing you know, your story and, like, enlightening others as to, you know, what – because cause to me – I feel like you know there's so many people out there that just have no idea, like you said, that, you know, the best kept secret. Where it's just like educating the public, whether that's the entrepreneur who wants to get into business for themselves, and they, you know, have been contemplating like home care or maybe assisted living, or you know, maybe they never ever thought that adult daycare could be something for them. And and I just feel like where the future is going, and you think about. You know, how can you find an affordable care option that really does good from a, from a, from a physical and cognitive standpoint for that individual? And there is no better option. Like, it just doesn't exist, you know? And, and, and adult daycare is it, you know? But it's, it just, it's, like it's, it's like it's been this little diamond in the rough for yeah. 20, 30 years that I feel like it's about to have its day, you know? It so. is. And over, s you know, about 6,000 centers across the country. Right, right, um, right. <coughs> New Jersey alone is 165 gotcha. and growing. Awesome. Um, yeah. But we need different um, entrepreneurs that could come in and not think they have to spend a billion dollars. Right. We need good people with good hearts. Right. That are able to manage smaller operations. Right. To right. service more seniors because the senior population is growing out. Right. And right, they don't right. want to go into nursing homes. Right. We need alternate or options for them. One hundred percent. I mean, it's, it, it, if you even think about like even residential assisted living, it's been it's been growing exponentially like over the years because like it's like there's a new breed of residential assisted living owners and operators that are creating really nice environments um, where like in the past like residential assisted living maybe didn't have as good of a uh, you know reputation you know so it's just like you know you know it's just trying to f you know help educate the public that hey there's all of these different options out there for you and uh, I, I, I personally am biased towards adult daycare and I can tell yeah. you probably I are too my buttons <laughs> <pride>. <laughs> I love that button <laughs> like, I want like one of those buttons I love that <laughs> I, I, I don't know if they can see or not but no. it says it says adult day health care is the answer and That's it couldn't it. be more true yeah. so I, uh, I I can't thank you enough though Joan I, I really I'm, I look forward to even more conversations and I thank you for sharing your story today well, too. Well, thank so. you. It's been an honor and a pleasure. Well, I, pr I, I, appreciate I could it. talk for hours about it all day. I know, I know, so I know. I know. But I was like, I already <laughs> stole you for too long. Today. I was like, you know, we gotta get back to our sessions here at NADSA. But right. uh, I appreciate it again. And and for everyone watching, if you'd like to learn more about you know um, adult daycare or get involved with NADS and make sure you go online you can go to chrischana.com and there's plenty of information and resources there to point you in the right direction but we thank you guys so much for joining us on the Carepreneur Show and we will see you guys next time. Hey guys, thank you so much for making it this far. If you'd like to watch last week's episode, click here. If you'd like to watch more exciting content on senior care, click here. If you'd like to learn how to open up your own adult daycare, assisted living, or home care agency, click here, chrischana.com. This is for all those senior care entrepreneurs out there. And let's get back to work.